The acid test is another tremendously useful tool for identifying minerals. What I will use today is 10% hydrochloric acid. While that's convenient, you may also use something common like kitchen vinegar. This is just some white distilled vinegar which works just fine. Vinegar is composed of mostly acetic acid. So in order to do the acid test, it's a really good idea to use your safety glasses, so we'll put safety glasses on. And then what we'll simply do is put one droplet of the acid on a mineral sample. So let's take a look at what we have here. In this case, I'll just drop one drop on this mineral and really doesn't look like much is happening. On the other hand, let's try this mineral. Again, I'm going to put one drop of acid down on the mineral and let's see what happens. Again, nothing significant. Let's try this one. And very quickly, you can see that this mineral bubbles or foams up. Sometimes it's referred to as effervesces. This effervescent happens when hydrogen from the hydrochloric acid reacts with the carbonate molecules in the mineral, creating carbon dioxide gas. The release of carbon dioxide gas indicates that this mineral, or this rock in this particular instance, contains significant quantities of carbonate minerals. Let's take a look at this one. Again, very quickly, you can see the effervescent or the bubbles that are generated as carbon dioxide gas is being released from the carbonate minerals. So if when you drop a single drop of hydrochloric acid or vinegar on top of a mineral sample and you see the effervescence, you know you've identified a rock or a mineral that is a carbonate family mineral. After placing the droplet of acid on your sample, it's a good idea to take them over to a sink and wash them off or dilute them with ample quantities of running water. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me again on another geology or earth science video.